28 years have passed since the world's worst nuclear plant accident. The Chernobyl disaster of April 1986 affected thousands of people. Many still suffer from radiation-related illnesses. And one of them, a 33-year-old woman from Ukraine, has been in Japan sharing her own story at a special commemoration event. NHK World's Takaki Iwabu reports. Inna Sinukaya arrived in Tokyo last week. Her life has been severely affected by the Chernobyl disaster. 28 years ago, a series of explosions and fire at the plant led to a massive plume of highly radioactive fallout. Parts of Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia were the worst hit. Inna was four years old at the time and living in Kiev about 100 kilometers south of the plant. Authorities gave the public little information about the disaster, so her family continued life as usual. Nine years later, she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. When I was diagnosed with cancer, it was the first time that I heard about having been exposed to radiation. It had never crossed my mind before, and I was shocked. Her thyroid was surgically removed. Inna felt embarrassed about the huge scar on her neck. When she was 16, Inna joined other affected children to spend a summer at the therapy center. They were given the chance to have fun together and eat healthy food. The project was supported by a Japanese fund. Ryuichi Hirokawa was its founder. He had been covering the disaster as a photojournalist. I tried to persuade doctors there that these children really needed a chance to recuperate at the facility. This time, the same fund invited Inna to Japan to speak about her experiences. When she was pregnant, her doctor strongly recommended an abortion. He said the pregnancy could put her life at risk, fearing her cancer would recur. But she refused to give up on the new life. It was a risk for me, but even if I die, I didn't want to end my child's life. A healthy baby was born. She named her Mariana. Now five years old, Mariana gives Inna the strength to carry on. Inna knows there are many people in Japan who are anxious about the effects of the Fukushima nuclear accident. She wanted to share her message of hope. To children, even though it's tough, please be strong. Hold on to your dreams, to want to be someone. I understood that normal life can be affected suddenly by unexpected difficulties. I want to share her message with people in Fukushima and all around Japan. Ina's message of strength and courage is striking a chord with people here in Japan. Takaki Iwabu, NHK World, Tokyo. And since the nuclear accident in Fukushima, local authorities have identified 74 confirmed or suspected cases of cancer among children who were under 18 at the time. But officials say those cases can't be linked directly to the fallout.